Okay, so it's a lovely sunny November morning here in Titherington and uh, I'm doing a special video today with a chap called Dave Niblett. You might have seen some videos I did with him earlier in the year where I walked around talking about the village history and looking at what's going on around the village. Well today we're doing a kind of follow-up from that. Um, we're going to do another part of the village, we're going to go up under the hill there and just talk a little bit about what was what happened up there in the past. Um, and also we're going down to Reg Pierce's where Dave used to work many moons ago on the farm there and we're going to go and look at uh, maybe a modern tractor and talk with Dave about his experiences and Reg about experiences on the farm in the past. But uh, Dave's just here. Here he is, the man himself. All right Dave. Here's Do Dave you then. Want me, sorry, hang on a minute. Do you want me glasses off? You don't. I don't mind, Dave. You oh, on or off? Which do you rather do? No, I flash. You know. You're fine as you are. Anyway, Dave, we're back again by popular demand. <laughs> the man with the stories of Titherington, aren't you? Really? Yeah, pretty well. You've lived here all your life now, haven't you? Yeah. And how old are you now, Dave? Eighty-nine. Eighty-nine. That's. You're in really good shape, though, aren't you? You get about all right, oh, don't I'm you? Still skittling. Still skittling. That's the main thing, isn't it? You're quite good at Skittles then, aren't you? Well, fair. Yeah. How long have you been playing Skittles for? Oh, gosh, 19... what, 60s? 1960s, have you? Uh, Crikey, you've, you've had a few games of Skittles in your time, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Hey. yeah. Yeah, yeah, but some good scores. Yeah, fair play. Well, my dad liked Skittles as well. That was something yeah. he played as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... Today, what what have you what do you want to talk about today? Because we've done quite a lot before with you. You've got, always got a good story, haven't you? We're going up by the Grange. Yeah. And sort that out. Yeah. With uh, what was what up there? Yeah, good because your knowledge of this goes way back before me. Oh well. Uh, Let's go and have a look then, Dave. All right. Okay. Well done. Okay. So this is Baden Hill, yeah. and it. I think you said to me before, this, this isn't the original road, is it? The sun's a bit bright, isn't it? Yeah, the, uh, when the squirrel was alive, uh, while well, you were seeing a minute, <coughs> the road that came off the hill down by his uh, back, well, back place there. Yeah. And uh, he thought, I'm not having this. Right. So we built this up. So this is all a new road, well, New for Titherington, it's probably only, yeah. only 100 years old or something. <laughs> yeah. You know? So... Uh, you don't remember the road being... You remember this being... You don't remember the old road, though, do you? No. So it was, must have been done in sort of the 20s yeah. or something like that, yeah. perhaps. Yeah. So, so uh, there we are. Right, well, we're going to have a look so at that, then. we'll walk on up here. So we're just going by the churchyard before we get... This, I mean, I, this is the thing about getting a certain point in your life, like my age and your age. Is you know half the people in here, don't you? Yeah. It's a strange feeling, isn't it? Yeah, it is, really. You yeah. know, because I walk around there, Dad's just up there, I can see his grave from yeah. here. And, and uh, Mum's in there, Dad's in yeah. there, Gramp. That's right. And, Aunt and, and um, the squire's in here. Oh, the squ yeah, I've seen the squire's um, grave. It's quite a big one, isn't it, yeah. over there? Oh yeah, busy. It's a little road, nice road, isn't it? People walking their dogs up there and stuff. But yeah, you know, it's quite, quite a weird thing. When you've lived in a village a long time, you realise how many people you've seen oh, yeah. go, isn't it? Yeah. You know. Quite a lot. Yeah. It's like a who's who's of Tiverton. He he uh, died early. Yeah, your dad. Yeah, he is, he got kicked in the back with a horse. Did he? And his lungs went. No way. Of course, nowadays you can have new lungs, can't you? You can repair all that, can't you? Yeah, yeah in those yeah. days it was really different, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, let's go on by. Say goodbye to the churchyard. Let's go yeah. back up here. Right, we're going back, back down the back of the Grange now. All changed a lot since I was a kid. This road wasn't here. Quite steep, isn't it? A an ice rink. And this was... Um, the back end of the Grange, wasn't it? And now it's yeah. they've sort of carved it all up. But what was the coach house that went in with the Grange is now a separate house. And so you can see now, this was the main road through lock. Yeah, for the right, right the back of the 
Right. Range. So it went down through where that gate is. It went yeah. straight to the right of the house. Yes. Yeah. Straight through. Yeah. We've managed. Uh, imagine horses. You know. I mean, it was no cars. Uh, no, quite peaceful. Whereas yeah. now, you, I mean, if that was the main road of the house yeah. for the village that coming through here, yeah. it would be horrendous, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would do. Get all the cars was, and lorries going through. No one wants that. This was built. Well, not built. The the Akak was in there. The Akak, what from World War Two then? What, yeah, what do you mean by Akak? You mean guns or anti-aircraft? Oh, right. So they kept anti-aircraft guns at the Grange, did no, they? No, no, no. They were up, right up on top of the hill. Oh, right. Up on the hill, there was anti-aircraft guns yeah, up there. Right up there. Yeah. Searchlights and all. Was there? Yeah. But they had people stationed in the Grange. They had people stationed. So did they take over the house or was he? They... Yeah, they took the house over. Right. So wow. Then of course after the war. Brilliance came along. Yeah. And they used to have a garage in Bristol, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, I used to go in there. Right. You know, I was at the garage. Yeah. See Richard, you know. Yeah. And uh, his sister went to uh, Canada. Right. But, uh, oh, this is brilliant there, you know. She's a character, you know. Yeah, I never really knew her. I remember she had a sort of beehive well, hair, didn't she? The chap opposite us, um, Barry. Thompson, he used to work there, you know, gardener. Yeah, right. And then he'd go on holiday, and then he, he'd get me to come round and water everything, you yeah. know. And of course, he'd get a cup of tea in the... That's all right, then, in the uh, Grange. In the Grange, yeah. yeah. But, nice. I mean, there was all horses and, and uh, sort of ca um, carriages and all that in there. Were there? What, in, the, what, in this coach house? Yeah, because my grand, when he used to work for the... Was he used to drive the carriages up? Did he? What in the for the Grange? Yeah. Did he? Yeah. So I mean, it's all changed now, isn't it? Because it's literally the coach house is now in a house. Yeah. And um, not that long ago, this was a garden here, wasn't it? And now they've yeah. taken the garden over and they put houses down there. I don't know how many houses there are? Cats have ever been down there. A walled in garden. Down there. Yeah, there was a walled garden they built on that yeah. now. Yeah, but most so, of these sheds was. Horses and that. Right. Well, there was only the wealthy that had any transport, really, wasn't it? Well, yeah. Because there were only two options, either farmer with his cart horse yeah. or the wealthy people with little carriages, I guess. I well, you know the squire and that and his wife, they were going up to Wotton one day and it was snow on the floor. So he changed the horse's shoes to yeah. grip. Right. And the squire said, I'll drive horses, he said. He said, you get your skates out and skate behind. Is that right? That's quite true, that is wow. what Grant told me that. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's, it's a hard to imagine nearer era now where to, to get any distance, you had to do it with a horse. Yeah. And there wasn't much choice for the no. for the general per person. They had Shanks' pony, wasn't it? Get on, oh, yeah. get on your own. Because when the squire uh, married again, mm. in his second wife, she lived in Clifton. She had a house in Clifton. Right. And our grand had one black horse and yeah. a little uh, sort of carriage. Yeah. And he drove her into Bristol and back again. And that horse would run up and down hills. Really? Yeah. Beautiful. But I mean, I wonder how long it would take to, to ride a, a horse or take a carriage into Bristol. It's going to be quite a long, slow well, journey, isn't it? Well, I suppose what did he do? About 15, 20 mile an hour? Yeah. 15 mile an hour anyway. 20. Right. So it's 12 miles in there. Yeah. So you wouldn't want to go too fast, would you? If you're bouncing all over the place. Oh, no, he just motor on a bit. Would it? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know the horse, you know. No. But Grant said, yeah, he'd go like wonderful. Wow. So, Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, it's the whole world just gone, isn't it? Yeah. You know, that isn't going to come back, really. No. You know? No. Uh, this is why I like talking to you, Dave, because you've got these stories that. You know, they're, they're going to be lost eventually, aren't they? And it's yeah. important to chat to yeah. people about things like this because, you know, talking about the ACAT guns on the hill and stuff like that, that's yeah. a, a whole different world from my youth, yeah. you know? Yeah. Shall we carry on up there, then? Yeah, we'll carry Brilliant. on. Brilliant. Go on. OK, so we're in... Now this is, used to be an orchard. What, here? Yeah. Right. And my grandpa had that. Yeah. Because he had three orchards. Right. And... Was that a cider orchard or something, was it? Well, it was all mixed. Yeah. And then we um, 
There's a barn here, mm. a little barn. We used to keep the horse right. rake in there. Okay. And uh, mother had foals in there, and they used to perch on the horse rake. Oh, right. I know what you mean by horse rake. It's a horse drawn. We got one at the farm. Like a, yeah. I, I'll put a picture in and you can see it. So the horse rake, what, what would it do? Just drag the hay along well, the ground it, into it bunches or something? A certain amount, and then you press or pull the lever, yeah. and then you drop that, and then you go on again up. Right. So you had them in rows. So you sort of had rows of hay, and then yeah. what would you do with it then? A sort of binder well, or something? No, we get the pitchforks, look, yeah. and put them in what they call cocks. Right. Which is, you know... Sort of big it. piles to dry yeah. out, and they dry out in those sort of yeah. heaps, would then they? you are going to pick it up after. Right. Make a hay. Hard graft, Make right? a rick. Yeah. And then you are a thatcher rick. Yeah, my dad... My dad told me he used to thatch a rick. I think he used to yeah. do it in Young Farmers. He, there was competitions yeah. to thatch a rick. He used to have, you know, uh, nut sticks. Oh, yeah. For, to start with. Then they brought out a tool that uh, you use the binder twine right. for tying it down. Yeah. And I remember with the, with the ricks, yeah. so we got some rick knives around at the farm. Yeah. And they are like big knives that you'd cut down into the rick, wouldn't you? And cut yep. the oh, double hand thing. Hay isn't it? knife, yeah. Yeah, that's a hay knife. Yeah. Yeah, we got a few of those kicking around oh, the farm. We, we built, when I was working on the farm down Doug Pierce, eh? Yeah. Uh, we, um, I, I said to, to Doug, I said, this is, this is a bit greeny. He said, oh, that'd be all right. Right. We flip him up three or four days after he caught fire. Did it? We had the oh uh, fire engine come down up. And of course, I was cutting out the best of it. Yeah. Well, it was burning. No way. <laughs> and then the flames went up <laughs> like that. And all Will Frog money he was on the on the wagon up and up, putting the water around up. Yeah. And he went bloody but he covered it in bloody water. <laughs> Oh, he said, is there's a fire there. <laughs> so you were trying to save the good bits of the hay while the rest was burning then, were uh, you? Yeah. Leather. Crikey. Well, of course, that's the thing about hay, and I know Dad was always worried about that, is if you bailed it too too damp, yeah. it would heat up in the pile, wouldn't it? Of course it would. And then you get a bonfire, don't yeah. you? Or a hay fire. Especially if you had that fire leaf in the, in the grass. Fire leaf, what's that? Well, it's sort of like a plant. Is it? Yeah. Right, I'm heard of that. Uh, and that would, uh, I mean, that's deadly, that is. Really? Because that would warm it up. That's really? where you want to make sure it was dry. Right. Oh, I don't, I've not heard of fire leaf. I mean, has it got another name or is it just a. No, I just, uh, we just call it fire leaf. Yeah. It's not a grass then? Uh, no, no, it's like a little plant. Right. right? Okay. So Maybe there's not such much of that around these days, no, no, all these no, different no, pastures no. and stuff. But anyway, the, out there, it yeah. used to be. Uh, Jeanette's, which, which was small uh, pears. Right. They were beautiful. Look at they? <laughs> well, I used to come up here. Well, I feed the fowls yeah. for our mother sometimes. And that. And uh, yeah, it was quite a nice little orchard there. And then they converted the barn. So that's the barn. It says barn cottage, didn't it? Yeah, on the barn, one. Cottage, called there it, barn cottage. There it is, barn cottage. Yeah. And Major Judd used to live there, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He was in the war, wasn't he? I think. Yeah. Well, I remember Major Judd in the Remembrance Day parades. He'd always have his medals on display. So they, they converted that into uh, the barn became the house, and the orchards have gone. So that's changed quite a bit. And we'll, we move on up. Yeah. Next house is where my dad was born. Yeah. I heard you come up here a lot, then. Yeah. There we go. So this is Rock Cottage. That's where my dad was born. Can you, were you around, I suppose you were, let me come around this side because of the sun being in the end. The, um, have you ever come up here with my, when my dad was here? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm here every day, you know. Did you? Come up here with Bill. I'm not sure what year my dad moved to the farmhouse because my grandfather died and then they all moved down there. Oh, but... he was at school then. Right, what, when he moved down there? When he, yeah, after, you know, after school. So would that be in the 1940s or something? Yeah, that's what it would have been. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'd have been, wait a minute, seven year old then. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, 1940, 
through after yeah. the war, actually. So he would have... Oh, right, OK, so and, after 45. Uh, he had a crystal thing in there where you could make a word or something. What, the radio crystal set, was ah. it? Ah. Ah, right, OK. Oh. Right, so... And there's the footpath down here. Did you ever go off down this footpath then? Or you, you'd come up here and my dad have a playing around and stuff and oh yeah if you wandering around the village of course the village was, was pretty keen though. yeah i walked up there when we had the um jubilee bonfire we came up yeah. that way because yeah. the village when you were a lad it was a lot smaller wasn't it once so many houses and oh, stuff no. it must have been a very tight-knit little community then yeah, because well, you wouldn't have known you you'd everybody. know everyone wouldn't you everybody yeah but uh, there was two on those steps over there in, in uh, you, you get up on your human stone. Yeah. You got some. Um, used to be two, on the steps going up. Used to be two lions. Oh right. Okay. And uh, well, Mr. Gibbons was there then. Yeah. And um, Bar used to come up and work. You know. Yeah. Cleaning up that. And one morning they were gone. No way. Somebody had pinched them. Had they? Well, you see down here those. Staddle stones, they used to have tops on them, didn't they? The yes. little, and someone nicked all those once. Oh, right. All down there, those staddle stones there. Yeah. Someone drove down one night and stole them all. It's just the way things are. Yeah. But so, I, my dad told me that this place here, um, what's it called? Boyd's Farm, isn't it? Yeah. It used to be just a normal farmhouse, didn't it? And it got sort of gentrified. Oh, yeah. well, I mean, we, um, Uncle Darcy used to stay in here. Mm. One day, because the vicar, uh, the, uh Squire used to sort of say if she wanted to use the house, he'd move on somewhere else. That's why he built the two bungalows up on the where is it for me uncle and me dad mm. not. Yeah. So But uh, this was a sort of normal farmhouse until yeah. the sort of thirties or forties and then it was I don't know, the people who bought it sort of gentrified it if you like, put it in a nice garden, it's beautiful, yeah, isn't it? They built the horse uh, place there. Yeah, the stables the on the stable. side and yeah. it's a lovely place though, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Place, yeah. Right, should we carry on up yeah. up the, to the steps? Well, not quite, not quite the steps. Okay. All right, so as we're walking up here, this is this is the old quarry over here, isn't it? Yeah, well, of course it wasn't a quarry. Wasn't it? No, not to start with. Oh, not to start with. Um, I mean, just Film a bit up through there. Well, there's a sort of sheer cliff face, isn't there, or yeah. going on up? It's hard well, to that, see through there. Fairly high. It must have been. A, yeah, up a around steep, the back. A steep hill, and that's where the road came down. Oh, what? So the original road to the hill. To join that there, look. Oh, right. did it? Well, yeah. so that road would have gone diagonally across there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Straight up. So that was taken out when they started quarrying there, then, was yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. And hence the new road back up in the village, is that right? Yeah, well, of course, he built that after that to yeah. get up onto the top. Mm. We won't see this was gone. Yeah. You couldn't get down here, though. I mean, it's amazing to think they took a road out just for a bit of stone, wasn't it? It was yeah. like, it'd be outcry if he did that now. Because of course, the choir was all powerful. He owned most of the village, didn't he? I mean, the main horse and car uh, carriages mm. used to come through through there. And up over the top of there. Yeah. And it go to Gloucester. Right. So they would that's a straight run through and link up with another road. And eventually it went to London straight through right. that. Yeah. That was the London road lock. Right. So uh, yeah, it's quite must have been quite a steep hill for horses. It would have been, wouldn't it? And uh, so I I think there's a picture of the old quarry there. I might put that in on the video. Yeah. There's a the quarry was all in this area now. I mean, even when I was a kid, it wasn't overgrown like this. No. And it's only in the last probably 30 years it's become yeah. really hard to see. My friend Gary, I think his dad dumped his old poor Cortina down in there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure plenty of other people threw stuff down in there. Yeah. It was a bit of a dumping ground for a while, wasn't it? it? Was. Yeah. But um, it's kind of nature's sort of reclaimed it, hasn't it? Yeah. You know, and I think a lot of people coming by here now wouldn't even realise that there was a quarry no. here. Same with West Street, you know? Yeah. Although that's more used, isn't it? There was a young kitty that got drowned in there. What, in here or the West Street one? No, in here. Was there? Yeah, because they're at the engine room and that. Though. Right. And it was full of water. Yeah. And they was after uh, newts. Right, and that. really? 
and he, he fell in there, and of course, the, the um, Roy uh, messenger was with him. Yeah. And he couldn't swim, and he couldn't get down. Oh my God. So when was when would have that have been? Oh, well, I was at school. Uh. So back in the forties then. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that story. Yeah. And you, someone drowned in the West Street Quarry, didn't they? That yeah. was when I was a kid. Oh yeah, yeah. They came up the railway line from Thornbury, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. That was in the, probably the seventies. Yep. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, no one worried about health and safety then, did they? Didn't no, fence stuff no, off because no. the quarry up in the village now—that's all fenced off. The, the yeah. one that's used, yeah. you can't get in there, can you? No. Very secure. No. Well, there's deep, deep yeah. pools in there. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, no, it's uh, time goes by, and I mean health and safety. You no, know, that was out the window, wasn't it? No, what they didn't exist when you were a kid, no. did it? You just did. Everyone did what they I liked. Mean, you grew up a, Never uh, no hats on or nothing like that. See, oh well, they can get a room with these hats on and yeah. do the work. I don't it's know. hard, isn't it? Yeah. No steel toe caps then or anything. No. I swear. No. Like no wonder have people have like, bits missing. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, yeah. Hey, so we go on up here then. This is yeah. uh, we go up to the steps because this is uh, quite an interesting spot up here, isn't it? Where the steps are, and there's the there's the house there. That's lovely in there, isn't it? And the ornate gardens I was saying about over the yeah. fence there, look. You can just about make out the... Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, the pond's still there. Yeah, can't really see very well with this hedge. The hedge wasn't there until probably 20 years ago. Understandably, they want a bit of privacy. Over here is another orchard of Grandpa. Right. But yeah. your Grandpa had a few orchards then, did he? Yes, he had three. three. Yeah. He probably used to make cider, didn't he? I bet there's a lot of cider, cider made, wasn't it? Uh, and uh, there were some lovely uh, um, apples out here, beautiful. What was there? Um, oh gosh, can't think of the name now. You've got Morgan some... Sweets. Morgan Sweets. I planted uh, two when Dad died. Uh, I got a graft off a tree. Uh, these were. I'll bring that, some up when I get day. some. Where are they? They haven't bore fruit yet, but yeah. when they do, I'll bring you some. Okay. But yeah, I've been waiting. They only, we only planted them five years ago yeah. when Dad died. I got some grafts made off of the last Morgan sweet tree we had on the farm, yeah. and it was lucky I did because that tree's dead now. Yeah. And uh, but these two, they were about that high. But you know, give them a few more years. You have to keep going, Dave, so that you can get some Morgan sweets. Oh great! Okay. I'll bring some for your hundredth. Yeah, I love a Morgan hey. sweet. Because I remember you said you like yeah. them, don't you? Yeah, well, they went and cut that flipping thing down. Did they? It was a big tree. Yeah, they, they are big trees, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. So, and there was a cottage there. Yeah. Because in the wall was... What, down a, here? Just here, What, well, yeah. a cottage was there? Oh, I didn't realise that. There should be a... There was a fireplace left in there. Right. And he had a shed built. Yeah. And that, so... Uh, and then they built the doll's house there. Well, we called it the doll's house. The doll's house is over there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Why was it called the Doll's House oh, then? Because well, it, it very, was called the Doll's House, it wasn't it? It wasn't very big, it's been extended no, yeah. at the moment. Right. So, uh, and that was where they used to keep the staff, was it, or something? From the back here? Was it the Green's oh, Cottage or something? I think the Green used to live there, didn't you, Dad said? Yeah. yeah. And the gardener or something? Yeah. The gardener. When people had staff. Mm. <laughs> But yeah. if we come up round here, now this is quite interesting. I mean, this is a lovely feature of our village, isn't it? Well, yeah. You know, these steps are amazing, aren't they? I mean, uh, well, now... He used, to, he used to call it the 48 steps. That's, I couldn't remember the number. It's got uh, a few 40. more now, isn't it? Yeah, there are a few more on the top. So we can't remember them anymore. Yeah, well... But it's it's how sort of go up a bit more, you know? Yeah, because it, it used to stop sort of roughly at the top yeah, there and they've yeah. gone up. But the thing is, that's quite an achievement, putting those steps in there. What made someone do that then? Was it already a footpath or something? Well, I think what happened was when the road went, Yeah. they built steps for people to walk Because oh, they said, wait, hang on, we can't get off our hill. No, no you can't. <laughs> See, so that's what happened. Because there's only the back entrance now, isn't there, into the, yeah. into the hill. Around the other side, there's a road, so that was all right for traffic. But for the pedestrians, because the road had gone, they had to have that. Yeah. But am I right in thinking that up the side of here, there were, at one point, there were some houses or something? Yeah. There was, I think there was three houses. Yeah. Well, I think your dad... Uh, gave me a photograph. I I've got a photo. I'll put a photo in this video. Yeah. But can you remember the houses there, or were yeah. they that you no, can? Actually... Not really. Were they derelict yeah, then? Just 
odd bits there is and odd bits left. Right. Now. So why why did they go then? What happened to I them? I don't know what happened. You, I mean, these days, no one would knock a I house mean, down or let it fall down, would they? I got a photograph of my grand. Mm. He was about so away. Yeah. He was born there. Now. What, up in one of the houses? In just one of these houses. So whereabouts do you think they were then? Oh, on the side, you're What, the just up, going yeah. up that way? Well, when you go up, you might see a bit of the right. stone there. Because I never was sure where they were. They were just on the side there then. Yeah. But they're no longer there. You wouldn't believe it now, would you? Completely yeah. overgrown. Yeah. And up the top there, am I right? So you're saying that the Akak guns were up there? Yeah, well, I'm a bit further. Yeah. yeah. But there was also a um, bomb shelter up there, isn't there? There's an air raid shelter up there, isn't there? I, oh, I can't I, remember that. I've been in it. Oh, you have? Yeah. Up in amongst up there. Oh, half, up there. Uh, yeah, yeah there, of course there is. Yes, yes. There's an air raid shower, yeah, isn't there? Yeah. And it's I, it's a long time ago since I went in it, but um, it's hard to find. I can't. You can't find it now. It's all overgrown. But yeah. um, it's sort of like a steel kind of shell, sort of oh, a couple no, of shells put right, together. Yeah. yeah. So presumably that was for the guys on the Akak guns, was yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. So if it, if it all kicked off, they could run to that. Yeah. Well, no Charlie Fowler on the far end there. Hmm. He, he, when he, when the bombs were coming down, there's a cave up in there, you know. Right. Uh, you know, yeah. it's only sort of back in. Yeah. He used to go in there, not. Really. <laughs> I know. So, uh, well, the interesting thing is, when we've had a chat, he does a little bit of metal detecting, and when he's gone across the fields, he's found bits of shrapnel from the oh, must be yeah. from the artillery shells that they were shooting up. Yeah. Because they were they were designed to explode, weren't they? When they get yeah. went up into the air or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, we picked up all the bits of uh, shell. Yeah. Well, of course, when I was down on the farm, yeah, I when I was I was plowing up a new a new field, right, <clears throat> and um, there was um, sort of the oxen shoes and all that in there, so they used to use ox for plowing and all. Right. You f so yeah, yeah. My dad. We found some ox shoes as well. They used they used ox shoe, ox for pulling the plow before horses, didn't they? Yeah. Of course, yeah. the best bit about that is when they get old, you can eat them. <laughs> ox <Oxtail soup. laughs> Right. That's it. Day. Right. What do you want to go now? Then Are you ready to go to Reggie's or do you want to go up there? It's yeah. quite steep. Wait, unless you want to photograph that. Well, if you know the where road. the hey. Photograph the road. Oh, where the road is? Are you all right to go up there? Yeah, of course we are. Right, Dave, you're fitter than most 80-year-olds, let alone 89-year-olds. So we're going on up. We're going on up the hill. Look at it. This is lovely up here. I love these steps. And if you want to do a fitness class, you want to just run up and down these steps rather than <laughs> go to the gym. Because they are quite a climb. Yeah, look out for some stone. Yeah. There was a bit left in there. You're not struggling on this at all, are you? Fair play, Dave. So, oh yeah, so we're in, this is roughly, I think I can see some sort of bit of a wall or something in there. Yeah. Looks like, hard to see, but that looks like a bit of a wall. So they would have been about here somewhere. Yeah. I've never really looked before. Yeah, it's hard to see, it's really overgrown, isn't it? But I think there's something in there. Oh, you're powering on up here, Dave. There's no holding you back, is there? Hey, blimey. It's putting every young person to shame going up here. Yeah, you can't see. Yeah. Amazing how nature reclaims everything, isn't it? As soon as you stop living in an area, nature just fills that void. So here we are. These are the new ones, aren't they? New ones. So you used to stop about here. Yeah, that's it. And then there was a few little muddy steps, wasn't there? And they, these, they've done it very well, actually, because it does look the same style, doesn't it? They've put stone slabs yeah. in. Oh, yeah, mate. How many was it? Three, four, three. Have you counted them? Uh, ten, isn't it? I used to thought it was the 48 so steps. It's 58, isn't it? Is it? The 58 steps. <coughs> yes. So that's where the road carried on, then, up there? Yeah. Well, I'd never really worked that out before. So it's literally, you could fall off the edge of a cliff if you went over there. <coughs> so that road there goes on up across the <coughs> hill and then back out the other side then. So that linked up with the road going out the other side then. Yeah. 
and that went straight down into the village. Yeah. Well, it made sense to have a road like that because it made this all accessible, wasn't it? Yeah, well, you go to London with that, that way. So you cut off, once you cut this out, you cut off all these people up here, didn't yeah. they? <coughs> God, I yeah. bet that some of them were upset. Well, of course, yeah, where well, that went. Blimey. That's where they built the steps. Yeah, no wonder they have to build the steps. Yeah. All these people up here are going, hang on a minute, I can't get to the pub. It's a long way round the other way. Long way round, yeah. Hey? Yeah. Mind you, if you've gone to the pub and you have to come home going up those steps afterwards, yeah. that's quite a climb. Then, of course, you get uh, vehicles and that. You built the new road. Mm. Um, yeah, you have to do something. You couldn't just leave it with nothing, could he? No. No. No, well, the, mm. so the air raid shelter is in amongst there, in oh, the middle, right. in the middle of there somewhere. Oh, yeah, like, that, as a kid, I went in there quite oh, a few I, times. I think that that wasn't to do with the uh, attack. Right. That was just well, there's quite a few people that live in along there, wasn't it? Yeah, of course, if you had those houses there and you had the ones at the top, maybe yeah. it was sort of in the middle ground, sort of yeah. thing. So the Akak guns, you reckon, were they further along? Well, right, they was in. The, uh, Ernie uh, Matthews' field. Oh, were they? What, in front of his house? No, I mean, sort of towards the wall. Right, I know wall. what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so, how many do you reckon were there? A few? A couple? Or? Oh, I, I can't remember now. Must have been two or three guns. And they had a spotlight as well. And they had a searchlight, search yeah. Wow, it's unbelievable, isn't it? And one night, uh, they all ran away from there because. Flipping German fighter was coming down this. Really? The light, you know, the. Really? Follow the lights down to shoot them? Ah. Uh, it's a good thing about searchlights, it might find the planes, but also it tells people right. where to shoot at, doesn't oh, it? I would do that. You know? But I mean, yeah. it's hard to believe it, but we got sort of behind us, can't really see very well, but through there is Yate, which is where. What were, what were they making in Yate? Because they bombed it, didn't they? Oh, yeah. That they were milk, making shells, weren't it? Is that what they were making in Yate, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. was one of the girls, he, he followed the line down, the German plane. Yeah. And he bombed the factory. Was it Parnells or something? Parnells, Parnells yeah. He dropped, they bombed it there, didn't they? For Ivy Day, mm. we'd live in Enterin and she used to go over there. Yeah. Working. And she got killed, which is on the memorial. Isn't yeah, she? I mean, it's, it's hard to kind of in such a peaceful place like Titherington, you can hardly imagine that this was part of the war almost. And yet, you've got Akak guns up there, yeah. and you've got bombing and a, and a factory over there. But also, in our farm, we had a, two bombs dropped in the field. Oh, yeah, it did. And yeah. also. <laughs> because obviously some of our walls were quite old, the vibrations from the bombs exploding meant the late the wall in the lane fell down. <laughs> and my dad told me this because if you look at up our lane, the wall is is not it's about that high. The rest the, yeah. the, the the wall of the garden is about six foot, and there's this one section that was um, three foot. And yeah. apparently the government would pay for it to be rebuilt, but because of the shortage of cement during the wall, they only pay for it to be built three foot high. Yeah. And then the rest of it was left, so we got a section with no wall. Yeah, there was a hell of a lot of incendiary bombs mm. dropped as well. I think we've picked, um, got Chapu's metal detector on our farm, picked up a piece of one actually. Yeah. Sort of phosphorus on the front yeah. or something. Down the rabbit field, there was two uh, uh, bombs in Guar. Yeah. And they were dug out, yeah. Right. That's right. I mean, you can't imagine bombs falling around Titherington, can no. you? You think of it as in the cities, but even round here, it was going on, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, that was in the. Rabbit field, I suppose. What do you call the rabbit field? Oh, the little field it was down the bottom there. Did it have a lot of rabbits in it then? I oh, did. Did it? I call it the rabbit field. <laughs> I was better frightened there a bit. I bet it did. Dead rabbit field. Yeah. <laughs> of course, we used to go rabbit in every box. You did, they, didn't yeah. They? yeah. Everyone yeah. ate rabbit then, didn't they? Oh, Wasn't much meat about, was there? No, bloody beautiful. They yeah. were, out. Huh? I'm not a fan of rabbit, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Too Always. many bones. I used to live it. Did you? Yeah. Too many bones. Mm. Well, there we, are. there we go. Right, shall we uh, shall we wrap this up then? And okay. part two, we're going to go down and see your old. Well, was he not? Was he your boss or his dad was your boss? Wasn't he? No, his, no, his um, grandpa was my boss to start with. Right. 
No, no. So we're going to go and see and Reg then... Pierce, who's on the farm now, but we're going to the farm you used to work on. Yeah. How old were you when you worked there? Oh, I was... Uh... 40 and a half, 40, so sort of, uh, well, I'm trying to think, 70, school. 75 years ago you were there then. I had a card, a fortnight off yeah. from school, and go down there and see if I liked the work. Oh, OK, know. like work experience so almost. The boss went off on holiday and left me with a tractor yeah. and a plow, and he said, go and plow that room. <laughs> Well, we're going to go see Reg Pierce on the farm you worked on 75 years ago and we'll talk about your life there and maybe look at a new track to see what you think of the new ones. All right? Yeah, OK. We're on our way down. You're having a quick cheeky fag. So you used to smoke wood vines, did you? Yeah. And what are you smoking these days then, not wood vines? Oh, Rothmans. Rothmans. But you said did you used to get given them. In the army. In the yeah. army, when you're in the yeah. um, doing national service, they they give you a packet of fags, would they? Yeah, no one again. Huh? Would they? Crikey, you wouldn't get that now. I mean, let's face it, Dave. Once you get to 89, you don't worry about giving up now, do you? No, not really. Um, well, I used to go around the shop. Yeah. And uh, Garrett had a packet of fags and a box of matches for Tuppen Saintly. Really? A bit more than that now. Oh, good. How much yeah. is a packet of fags now? Uh, 10, 40 of them. Is it? Yeah. For 20, yeah. Mm -hmm. like Do you know what? I found a, um, some small packets of cigarettes at the farm yeah. in, when I was doing some work, renovation work. They were packets of five. They yeah. used to sell them as packets of five. Yeah. And then yeah. you, can't get, you can't get packets of 10 anymore either, can no. you now? You can yeah. only get packets of 20 now, can yeah. you? Packets of five, though. that's not many fags in a packet, is it? But I guess it's all some people needed. I don't smoke many, you know. No. But you've smoked all your life then? Yeah. Well, you're still My doing right, aren't you? My school started me off. You're joking. He did. You're joking. Because our grandma had a petrol station yeah. there. Well, he would come down his little Austin 7, and, and he had, the, the car was like that. You yeah. Know, big bloke. And he come and sat on the wall talking to our grandma yeah. after. And then he got his oxo tin out. Oh, yeah. And he had wood bones in there, and he said, you better try one. Well, how old were you then? Thirteen. Oh, gee, <laughs> I need to go and get my uh, schoolmaster. Ah. You get arrested for that now. Oh, you were, right? Oh, and he started on those then, there you are. Well, there you go, it's not an advert for smoking, uh, not but... Not only that, he was an ex-police, he's a police sir, as well. Was he? He didn't bother then, did no. he? God, dear. Mm. There you go, anyway, we better move on. Uh,